Hello everyone. Today's video is about a do-it-yourself installation of one of the basics Autogen smart controllers on any electric start generator. Today we're going to be working on a master generator with a Honda GX390 and an 8 kVA NSM generator head made in Italy. This is a three-phase setup, 400 volts, also with a single phase 220 volts output. A lot of the wiring has already been pre-done but we will guide you step by step on what everything does, how everything is connected. We're going to connect two relays, one to stop the engine, one to start the engine, and we'll take you step by step all the way. This particular generator is going to a local customer, and we're going to be fitting a V6 Autogen with a LoRa module, because it's going to communicate with a LoRaGen controller. The customer needs the generator to start whenever his water tank drops below a certain level. He wants the generator to start, a few minutes later the water pump is going to start and it's going to fill up the water tank the moment the water tank gets filled up to around 90 percent 95 percent the Loragen is going to send a signal wirelessly roughly about 500 meters away from the generator it's going to send a signal back to the autogen controller to signal the generator to shut down we're going to zoom in now so we can show all the wiring Pin number one is 12 volts. We're going to be sourcing this from the battery's 12 volt positive terminal. Pin number two is ground, which is the chassis, also the negative side of the battery. Pin number three is the signal going to the stop relay. Pin number four is the signal going to the start relay. We come here to pin number seven, which is five volts output. This is going to the red wire of our servo because we're going to be using a servo to operate the choke. Pin number eight is the orange cable coming again from the servo. This is the data cable. And pin number 10 is just a jumper wire going back to pin number one as pin number 10 will be measuring and monitoring always to start a battery. We have also included two extra wires. This is an AC input sense and we have connected this onto one of the phases of the generator head and the neutral. So the V6 Autogen will always know when the generator is running as long as there's voltage coming on these lines. Let's follow all the cabling going to the other side and hook up the relays. What I've done is I've color coded all the termination plugs to make it easier for everyone to understand. The blue color is pin number three, which is going to be used for the stop relay. And the white color is pin number four, which is going to be used for start relay. The red wire here is just connected to the starter motor positive terminal. Now we need to move on and find the cutoff signal, the wire that actually shuts down the generator. Now on 90-95% of generators you'll always find a low oil switch. It's roughly located on the side of the block and 90% of the times it has a yellow wire. This wire, what happens is when we have low oil in the engine, this wire will get grounded and this eventually shuts off the power going to the spark plugs so the engine will starve as it has no power to fire. This is the yellow wire here and what I've done is I've tapped into this wire with a yellow termination plug. Okay, this is going, so whenever this wire gets grounded while the engine is running, it will get shut down. Now we're ready to connect our stop relay. Before we do so, let's talk a little bit about relays. Pin number 30 is our common. Pin 87 is normally open. 85 and 86 are for the coil. So what we will be doing with the V6 Autogen, we always need to have on pin 85 constant 12 volts. Illustrated in red, it's connected here. The other side of the coil is going to be controlled by the Autogen. The blue wire, pin number 3. Now, on pin 30, common, we're going to connect the, our chassis wire connected to this bolt here, which goes to the chassis. And pin number 30 is going to be that wire that came, there it is, it just fell through. That wire that we connected onto the yellow wire coming from the oil sender. So what actually happens is, 
when the autogen signals, blue wire, pin three, when it signals to shut down the generator, it's going to ground the coil, which activates the relay, making the oil alert wire connect to ground. Let's move on to the start relay. So moving on to the start relay, constant 12 volts, going to pin 85. And on this particular engine, this wire is going to the starter motor solenoid. It requires 12 volts. Other engines are already, already have a 12 volt signal connected there and it requires a ground to activate the solenoid. So in this particular case, it needs 12 volts. We're going to connect it to pin 30. And 12 volts going to pin 87. And if you remember earlier, pin number four, let's just move my hands out of the way, which was the white terminal is going to go to pin 86. So, constant 12 volts on pin 85, white pin 4, if it gets grounded, it will activate the relay and it will send 12 volts to the starter solenoid. Now that we have completed the generator, we have uploaded a testing program. We have a LoraGen controller connected here to a panel. This panel here is going to simulate the loss of mains utility power, and then it's going to send a signal to the generator to start. Let's perform the test. Sorry about the noise, it's a busy road. So you can see on the left hand side here, it's checking for any loads. Within 10 seconds, the generator is starting. Generator has started, indicating that it's running. Now we are going to simulate the return of mains AC. Main AC return, LoraGen is going to send a signal to the generator to shut down. As you can see on the left hand side, we have mains return, pulling down the engine for a few seconds. And engine is shut down. One more time. Loss of mains AC. Signal is being sent. And generator has started. Return of main AC. Shut down. Beautiful things can be done with the Loragen. We have tested it with an 8km line of sight range and only 1 watt of power transmission. It's pretty amazing technology. If you haven't subscribed so far, please subscribe so you can keep up to date with our new videos. Thank you.